Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm here today to demo one of my favorite products. This product is called Stringify. Now Stringify is actually free for you, just like some of the other software tools that we've used here for home automation purposes. Now, we're gonna get right into setting up Stringify on the iPhone today, right now. Let's go. Now I said that this was one of my favorite products and I think I need to explain why. Basically, Stringify is if this then that on steroids. Now if you haven't seen anything about if this then that, some of our other videos have a lot of usage of if this then that. But what I'm going to say is Stringify is more powerful simply because with Stringify, you're essentially unlimited with how many conditions you want to use and then how many items you trigger at that time. So this is an incredibly powerful piece of software. And as Stringify grows and gets more connection capability to more devices, it will just become that much more powerful. Okay, well let's get right into this. Now as I said, I'm going to show you how to set up Stringify on an iPhone. Now, the Stringify application is of course available on the Apple iStore. This is what you get when you go in. Now I've already created an account. You'd need to do that, but that's a pretty standard setup process. Now the nice thing about Stringify is you have three different things here that you can, you can tap on to kind of get into the application. There are things flows and then you can discover a little bit and that just shows you how to use the app a little bit and it shows you some of the more advanced flows that you can create right off the bat. So now heading in here what we have inside the things section is a number of different pre-setup items that you can use to trigger different parts of the flows or you can use to execute the end of the flows, for example. Now, you can see down at the bottom, it says all, physical, digital, and friends. So now, as I roll through these, these are the physical devices that we've set up, these are the digital devices, and the friends that we've set up. Now, that's an interesting concept for a home automation tool. You can actually add people such as your spouse, your girlfriend, uh, you can add your parents if you wanted to. And then you'll actually be able to trigger flows to them or to notify them. You can imagine that that's very powerful if you're a business owner and you have a number of staff that you can add as friends and trigger notifications or messages to when something happens in your work. Now let's head back and go through some of the things that we have here. Right off the bat, you can see Amazon Alexa, you can see Dropbox, email, Facebook, Fitbit, uh, and a number of other devices and softwares that we haven't had access to before. Insteon is a great example of something we haven't had access to even when we've tried to use if this then that. So, you know, Steam is another great example, TechCrunch, all of these, Wink is another. These are all things that we haven't been able to connect to our home automation systems just yet. Now, into the flows section. Now, what you have here are some pre-set up flows, and then you can also see we created a automate your sump pump video. That's the flow at the top there that I created in that video. So I'll put that video up at the top now if you wanna see how we did that automation of that sump pump. But essentially, you can tap into any one of these flows and you can see the different things that you've added and how they're triggered. Now down at the bottom, you can see starter flows. This is part of the discover portion of the application here. You can see some very simple flows that Stringify just wants to give you here to get you set up and rolling. So one of the things that I use is the weekly smart news. Here's the weekly smart news that I've implemented. You can see that the number of different sources drive right into email. And you get a little description, how it works, when there's a new story on CNET, etc., etc., you're going to get an email. Now that's gonna to go to your email that you've used to set up your account here 
on Stringify. So I've, got, I've gone ahead and I've tapped on import the flow. Now all I have to do is actually hit enable flow. That's it. This starter flow is now set up in my Stringify and every week I'm gonna get an update from those four new sources. Now into the discover side of the application, you can see a number of different categories here. Gaming, entertainment, things for your family, a smart office section. You know, you can add things for shopping or social media, which we've talked about in the past. So I'm gonna go into the smart home flows. Now right off the bat, you can see a flow called leaving home for work. I'm gonna go right into that flow and we're gonna see. Its description says, when I leave a location area, which you'll set as your home, and only if the time is between two values, because we don't want every time you leave to have this flow trigger, then you wanna turn off all your hue color lights or a specific hue color light. Now another flow that is immediately useful for people coming home in the evening. So I'm gonna head in there and when you enter a location at a certain time, then you're going to turn on specific dimmer switches. Moving down, you can see motion detected or a midnight bathroom break. If I head into that, you know, at night, you wanna turn on those little lights or a little run light for you. You can just trigger that flow on, connect your devices and you're good to go. Now then, I'm gonna show you how to connect one thing here, just so you know how to do that. That process is very simple, but I'm gonna show you how to connect Dropbox. So I'm gonna head down to Dropbox and I'm just gonna tap connect. You'll have to put in your credentials for your account on Dropbox, and then you just simply allow Stringify to access Dropbox. Now that I've done that, Dropbox is now available as a thing, and that's a digital thing, to be used in all of the flows. So you can see right away, as soon as it's connected, there's a number of different flows that Stringify shows you that you could immediately implement. All right. Well, we've got Stringify all set up, it's connected, and we're ready to rock with that little auto home automation tool there. You know, you're gonna be able to do all kinds of things with that. I'm gonna show you what to do with that software here over the coming weeks as we get connected to more and more fantastic home automation devices. We'll see you next time.